Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we're gonna to be reacting to a TikTok, a little different than what I normally react to because it's a man in the video, which is rare here, um, but he has a large female following over on TikTok, and this video went viral. I had some people send it to me, so I figured it would be nice to get a woman's perspective on it because it's talking about women. So let's give it a watch, we will reconvene, and I will tell you what I think per usual. It's kind of a short one, so we're just gonna watch the whole thing, and then I'll get into my thoughts. Girls actually don't care about money. They just have to know that you're competent enough to make money. And then they have to know that you're generous enough to share it with them. Because who wants to live with someone that's not competent and not generous? That's the whole point of why you think girls, oh, they only go for wealthy guys. No, they just want guys that are competent and able to figure it out. There's lots of ways to make money. There's infinite ways to make money. And if you're asking her to split the bill on a first date, it's over for you. Like, I'm sorry. There's nothing more important when you're picking your partner than knowing that they can make money and provide. And then also they're generous and caring and they don't hold it over you or they don't care about it that much. They just do it because they want to have a good family and they want everyone taken care of. Those are special men and they're not that normal anymore. Like that's kind of a rare thing and it's sad. It's hard to make a lot of money. But if you're able to do that and then share it and be kind and generous, that's really what girls want. Kind, generous, sharing guys that are competent. Hmm, okay. I have a lot of thoughts about this one. I think I see where he's going with this. There were a lot of points he made that I agree with from a woman's perspective. Um, and I can speak firsthand on that as a woman. Um, but there were also some things that were just a little confusing. So I'm going to break it down a bit more. So he said, girls actually don't care about money. They just need to know that you can make money. And there's absolutely truth here, but I don't know if that necessarily paints the full picture. You know, they might not care how much money you're making, but they care about the fact that you're competent and provide stability and security, right? But if they care that you can make money, that you have the ability to make money, doesn't that mean that they care about money? Like those two statements just seem contradictory to me. Girls actually don't care about money, they just need to know that you can make money. But if they need to know that you can make money, doesn't that mean that they care about money? Because if you couldn't make money, that would probably be an issue, right? So again, I just think those two statements are a bit contradictory back to back there. I think they do care. It might just look a little different than what you're thinking. Um, and again, I do agree about the competence point. I think just showing that you're able to be someone that is reliable, who can provide safety and stability and security, and you're competent and financially stable, those are positive qualities. And I think most women do care far more about that element of it versus the amount of money that you're making if that makes sense. And I know that might sound really confusing to a lot of you guys because I think women are far more likely to date out of potential than men are. I think a lot of women will date for potential, right? Like you might not be making any money now, but they see that you're capable and you're driven and you're passionate and you're a hard worker, that's attractive. And those things matter more than the number that you're making. And, and it's kind of a dating on potential type of thing. And I don't think men really view women that way or date women for that same reason. Um, and so I think a lot of men just think that that doesn't exist or that women don't do that, but they absolutely do. I know so many women who do that. Um, and it's just something that I see a lot. I think women will absolutely date for potential, which honestly could be a positive or a negative thing. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that I agree with the showing competence point. I think that's why things like drive and ambition and a guy with self-discipline are so attractive to women because you're showing that you're competent. You know, it can be a window into what a marriage with you would look like. Now, obviously there is far more to consider than just money. You know, aligned values, mutual respect, compatibility. You know, women care a lot about the way that you make them feel. Do you make them feel safe? Do you make them feel secure? Ultimately, you could be a guy making a lot of money and still not make her feel those things. But making a woman feel safe and secure and being reliable goes such a long way. You know, he said the most important thing to care about is someone's ability to make money and provide. I don't know if that's necessarily the most important thing. I think it's one of the more important things to worry about, right? But I don't know if it's the most important thing. Now, if money is the only factor a woman is considering, that isn't great. 
But I think we can all agree on the fact that life is pretty expensive and it's important to find a partner who is competent. I think caring about the fact that a guy is financially stable and reliable is not a bad thing. It's actually a very good thing. I think what we often see portrayed online are the controversial issues where women, you know, say they want a man to make X amount of money because they want luxurious things or they want you to fund their next handbag or their fun time. But I think a lot of women are just looking for stability. They're looking for peace of mind, security, reliability. I think we've seen so much negative content around money. I mean, I've even made content about money where I ask, you know, a woman how much they want their man to make and they say 300K. Well, what is the motivation behind the 300K, right? Is it because you want all these luxurious things? Or is it because you want peace of mind, stability, security, you wanna be a stay at home mom so you're not necessarily wanting to work? There are different motivations and reasons behind why someone would want their partner to make a certain amount of money or just make money. And I think it's also important to be reasonable and realistic about that, which was the point that I was trying to make with the girl videos that I made long ago, was, you know, understand what it is you're asking for. It's okay to want things for yourself, but I think it's important to know what it is you're asking for and how rare what you're asking for is. So I think that's an important distinction to make too. I know a lot of people get caught up in the term gold digger and thinking that women wanting a man to make a stable income is a bad thing, but I know exactly how we got to this point because of all the crazy stuff we see online and the motivation behind why we want someone to make that money. But I don't think wanting your partner to be financially stable is a bad thing at all. Actually, I would recommend that. Which leads me into my next point here of this safety and stability thing. Women are looking for safety and stability in a partner. A lot of women want to feel safe and protected especially the type of woman that many of you guys claim to want. And this isn't a negative thing. It doesn't mean that she's a gold digger. Feeling secure with a partner is a fundamental human need that applies to both men and women. This includes far more than just finances. This includes emotional support, stability, trust, protection. You know, when a woman says she's looking for a man who is driven and motivated and hardworking and who makes her feel safe and secure and comfortable, that doesn't mean that she's looking for a rich man necessarily. Of course, there are women out there who care solely about finances, and I really wouldn't recommend being with a woman like that. That's not what I'm talking about here. That shouldn't be the only driving force behind why someone wants to be with you. If it is, that's an issue, but that's not what I'm talking about. But going back to what the guy in the video said, I don't necessarily think all women care how much money you're making. Not every woman out here is demanding a man who makes a million dollars. And if they are, that's their own problem because that is beyond unrealistic. If you pull up a little average salary calculator for the United States of America, you can easily see the median incomes, the average incomes, what's in the top 1%. I mean, just go take a look at that if you wanna know the breakdown. But it is unrealistic to be demanding that, but I don't think that's the majority. I really don't, I think that's just what we're seeing on social media. But financial stability is a good thing for yourself and for a partnership and building a family. But there are a lot of other things men can do as well to make a woman feel secure. You know, a few standout examples would be be trustworthy and honest in your words and actions. You know, your words and actions should match. Listen actively. Make her feel physically safe by being aware of your surroundings. Maybe having her walk on the inside of the sidewalk. Little things like that go a long way. You know, be consistent in your actions and follow through on your commitments because reliability helps build trust and a sense of security. You know, showing empathy, trying to understand her perspective, being supportive. My reason for sharing all that is because there's far more that goes into making a woman feel safe and secure than just finances. But finances are absolutely a role, and that's not a bad thing. But I think going back to the video here, yeah, women want to know the person they're with is competent. I don't think asking for competence is asking for too much. I'm not saying your lifestyle needs to be luxurious. I'm saying it should be stable. I think stable and luxurious are far different things. But I don't think asking for stability and wanting to be with a partner who could provide for you and a future family is a problem. But I will say it's also becoming increasingly more difficult to have a one-income household. 
And there's also an element here of women are more financially successful than ever before, and they still typically want to date a man who is at their level or above. And you can look at statistics about this. 16%, only 16% of women out earn their husbands, according to Pew Research Center. Some women are looking for unrealistic things. Let them, that's their problem. I think what is helpful for you to know is that competence, self-discipline, ambition, and drive, being someone who is reliable and trustworthy, being a man of integrity, all of these things really help you. They're not hurting you. They'll help you on your own while you're single, and they'll also help you in terms of finding a partner. Notice I didn't say you need to be making a certain amount of money. You do not need to be making $100,000 to have a girlfriend. Not every woman is seeking out a rich man. Not every woman is marrying a rich man. And the older I get, the more I realize rich is so different <laughs> than the way it's portrayed in social media. I think success looks different to everyone. Rich to me is having freedom of my time. It's having peace of mind. It's having privacy. It's having a healthy relationship. And also, just because you make a lot of money doesn't mean you're smart with it. If you're a guy who makes a ton of money but you blow it all on material stuff or you make her feel bad or guilty about the fact that you buy her things or spend money on her and you hold it over her head, that's not attractive. So I think that right there just goes to show it's not about how much money you make also, but there is something so attractive about a man who has a desire to provide for his family. That's sexy has nothing to do with how much money you're making. It's the desire to provide. And I also wanna end this video on a question for you guys. You know, a lot of you guys state that you want a traditional or feminine woman by your own definitions of what you're looking for. You know, you don't want this independent boss babe that doesn't need no man. You don't want that. A lot of you say you don't want that. Maybe you want a woman who's going to respect you and trust your judgment and follow your lead. Um, Again, this is going to look different for all of you depending on what it is you're looking for. But I think a lot of you say you want this certain type of woman who is definitely not this other type of woman. You know, maybe you want someone who would be a stay-at-home mom when you have kids. Her job would then most likely include taking care of the kids, obviously, doing a lot of the housework, like the cooking and cleaning, um, which are all real jobs that we pay people to do for us. You know, we pay nannies, we pay daycare, we pay chefs. Some people pay to have their own chef. Some people pay a chef when they go to a restaurant. You pay someone to make your food for you. People pay house cleaners or just people to clean in general. And those things are also a job when your wife does them. So if she's doing all these things at home and she's not making an income, how do you expect her to survive? If you don't want an independent boss babe, if you don't want a woman who is working all day, if you don't want a woman who is focused on her career more than family, you know, she's probably going to rely on you. So my question for you, or just something to think about is, know what you're asking for, right? If you want this type of woman, know what's going to come with that. If you want a woman who prioritizes family over her career, she's probably going to have to rely on you a little bit for your income. What I want us to be able to do is to understand what we're asking for, understand you know whether it's realistic or not. Again, I think it's fine to want things, but I think it's important to understand how rare it is what you're asking for or just understand what you're asking for so that you can proceed with proper expectations. And also make sure that you are bringing to the equation what you need to be in order to get the outcome that you want. And sometimes, you know, we want things and we don't get them. That's a part of life too. You know, I kind of got off the beaten path here just because I think this conversation is so nuanced. And I want this to be a friendly reminder to you that we have to leave room for the human experience and nuance, especially when we're talking about relationships. You know, we all have different financial situations and experiences and what works for one couple might not work for others. So I think it's important to remember that too. You know, he also said in the thing, if you ask to split the bill 50-50, it's over for you. Now, is that true in every case ever? I don't think so. We have to leave room for nuance, like I said. Not every woman views this the same way. But if I were giving you guys general advice, 
like sort of a blanket piece of advice. If you like a girl and you want a second date, I think paying for it yourself and not asking her to do 50-50 is a better look. Just saying. So anyway, to wrap the video up, you know, he says girls don't actually care about money. They just care that you're competent enough to make it. And there's truth in both statements. I think it's a bit contradictory to say those things back to back. But I also think we need to accept the fact that it's not a bad thing to care about your financial future and your income. I would actually see that as a positive quality. Maybe she's someone who cares about her future and wants to build a lovely partnership with you and wants peace of mind and to not have to worry about finances in her relationship because that can be a huge stress and strain on a relationship. It's the reason why a lot of relationships end. So again, just wanted to give you a woman's perspective on the topic. I do think competence and showing that you're someone who is reliable and capable goes a long way. Um, and I think a lot of women will date you just for those things. That's all I've got. If you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I would love to hear your personal experiences or if maybe your perspective changed after watching this video. You know, I always see a lot of comments on my videos surrounding this sort of topic of finances and gold diggers and you know, what women are looking for. But I hope that you can see that not everything needs to be taken to an extreme. And there are balanced, logical people out there who are just looking for a comfortable life. So let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.